Welcome back to another episode of The Run with me, Manny Wilson. Today I got a special guest with me, Jawan Griffin. I got him on call with me. So, Jawan, you still here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, he's helping me talk about these these latest things that have been happening out in Cleveland. Tyrone Lue's been fired. The, the basketball coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, he's gone. Hugh Jackson is gone. And they fired the offensive coordinator, Ty Haley, on the football team at Cleveland Browns. So I, I don't know what's been going on in Cleveland. Uh, but we're going to start with Tyrone Lue. We're just going to go ahead and go straight into Tyrone Lue. So, Juwan, I'm going to ask you what, you what you think about this whole Tyrone Lue situation. Should he have been fired? I mean, he did bring that team a championship, the only coach to do it. Should he have been fired? No, like, I feel like it, was, it should be, like, at least more respect on Cleveland. Like, like give them more time to develop. Like, they mm. just lost a top three player mm. <laughs> in LeBron James. Mm-hmm. Like, and they started 0-6. I know it's the East. I know they say it's the weaker conference and such. But they have a promising young guard in Kyle Sexton that's determined and motivated to be the best, like, a really good player. I, I see glimpses in him that, that can be really good. Plus, they have... Uh, 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 other young players around the team. They have Rodney Hood, who I think is very underrated. Like he yeah. got underappreciated last year when he was playing with LeBron James. I really think they should have played him more. And when he mm-hmm. came over, he was a twenty-point scorer in Utah in the better conference. That's true. That's true. And and it's like zero oh and six. Come on now. It's like it's the early, early stages of the season. It's, it's going to be some growing pains. Okay. At that. Have to give more trust in Tyron Malou. Okay, no, I I agree with that. I think I don't think he should have been fired. At least not this early. They could at least let him like wing it out to maybe the middle of the season because he it is just a respect thing. He did bring that city a championship. The first the first coach out of what twenty coaches that's ever coached the Cleveland Cavaliers. And you could say, well, he had the greatest player to play in today's era. You could say all kind of stuff. He had Kyrie, whatever. But at the end of the day, he was still a head coach of that team. And you you can even argue that LeBron was really the coach of that team, but I I uh, don't think I, I the way I, I view it I really, I think LeBron was like a four general, but I don't think he was calling the shots like that. That's just me. And my thing is I I look at it this way: with even if you are a coach of a really good team, like the players are all good, where they don't need much coaching, but something has to there always has to be some kind of standards set in the locker room like when when Kyrie LeBron everybody Kevin Love when they all first got there it has to be some kind of standard that's set and that's usually done by the coach the coaches usually set that type of standard of of just about how we're going to play or or the type of way we're going to carry ourselves are we going to play scrappy are we going to play light or run and gun whatever and that's usually determined by the coach but them, that was different because you got to remember that first year when Brock came back, they had that first year coach in David Black. That's true. And then he, and he got fired. <laughs> through the season, he made the final with LeBron and, and Kyrie. When Kyrie got injured game one and Kevin Love got injured, like what, se- I mean, like second round that year? Yeah, he did. He went out. Yep, yeah, he went out early and it was just LeBron. <laughs> It was only but LeBron. With the assistant coach, and they brought him in halfway through the season uh, uh, during the championship run. Like, those standards wasn't really put down, but I, I still feel like Brown was not the orchestrator that they, the media tried to put him to be as to me. See, see, my thing with LeBron, this is it with LeBron. I look at it, if you if you have the opportunity to coach LeBron, it's a blessing, but at the same time, it's, it's definitely a huge task. It can be... It can definitely be a downside because if your team win, the good side is he can take you to the finals. You know, you know for sure. If you got LeBron, you got a fifty percent chance of getting to the finals. Period. Now, if if the bad side is when your team start losing, that's when it gets oh, bad. Yeah. People look at you like, oh, okay, you got LeBron James on your team. Why are you losing? Like, look at the Lakers right now, for example. They not doing too hot. So people are already but, suggesting things. They like, exactly. what's what's going on? You got LeBron on your team. And people forget that first year in Miami, they wasn't the playing too good. They wasn't. Got damn good. And this like, is true. It was like, <laughs> like with the first twenty games, what was it like seventeen and thirteen or something like that? I, it was. Like, they, it like, took it took Miami a minute to get rolling good too. 
So that's, well, that's why I'm saying when, when you go from – and then it sucks for Tyrone Lue because he just lost LeBron. So he's coming off a, a year where he got his team to the finals. So everybody's like, yeah, he's winning. He's winning. They're on his side because, like, you got LeBron. That's the – that he's riding the upside of it. But now – not help that situation. Oh, no. Because you remember when he was saying in a press conference, he was talking about, we're still the team to beat. Oh, and yeah. I don't know where he was. And I, Joel and B chimed in and <laughs> chimed in. Like, oh, yeah. you can't do that. Like, you just, you know, you know who you are. Why would and, you put that extra pressure on your team? Yeah, you absolutely right. I, I made a, a podcast earlier in the year about that. And I was, and when I first heard it, I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, are you, you gotta be, I'm like, you gotta be killing, kidding me, Tristan Thompson. I'm like, it's no, you about, I, I, I thought of it, I'm like, you about to realize how bad or how much LeBron did for y'all because if you think y'all like, still have a chance with these scrubs on y'all team, I'm like, like yeah. We'll, we'll say like the, they were like a fourth seed with LeBron. They not even was, a, a top eight seed with LeBron now. Man. Like, what did you say? Cleveland, if the they fired Tyrone Lue, I feel like Tyrone Lue had a good connection with the veterans on that team and, like, a good understanding with even new guys. So that that was a benefit of why – another reason why I say they should have just waited at least, like, mid-season maybe. And, like, once they realized maybe they're not getting to the playoffs, then I would say, okay, go ahead, fire Tyrone Lue. Try and bring somebody else in. But uh, until then, he had a good connection with the players. I feel like he could probably get them well, – no, 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 not get them going because they wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> but if anybody if anybody could possibly come in and turn that team around, like any coach could – they would have to win automatically. If they turn the, the Cleveland Cavaliers now to a playoff team or, or a winning team, they would, they would have to get coach of the year somehow because taking Tyrone Lue away – and only leaving the scrubs that they got on that team. Kevin Love hurt. He not even playing. So that's it's and and you didn't even get to see what what him and Tyrone Lue could do together. Yeah, what? Like, so now they got uh, if, uh, if one of the, uh, the assistant coach Larry Drew, who coached the Atlanta Hawks and a few other teams around the league, they feel like he promised him because he can't. He went eight and one with them when Tyrone Lue was out with that sickness last year. So they feel like he got. <laughs> It's not like, gonna do nothing. It's, it's not. I, in my opinion, it's not gonna do much. That was a completely different team. That was a completely different team when uh, a few years ago. When obviously when LeBron was on. No, there. that was last year. That was last year uh, when Larry Drew was the uh, inter, um, assistant coach. When Tyron Lue was out with that sickness, yeah, last year, last season. That even like, even last year. That's still a different completely. That's a completely different team. You even though. In my opinion, Kevin Love has never been like, you know, uh, he's always been like that side star for LeBron. You know, he was better when he was back in, in Minnesota playing for the Timberwolves because it was just him. It was just him, so he, he gave his buckets. And and with Tyrone Lou there, I know Kevin Love has been hurt, but that's what I was expecting to see. I'm like, okay, you know, I understand they got injuries right now, but maybe when Kevin Love come back, he might be that same animal that I, that I thought he was in, when he was in Minnesota. It's, it's a possibility. That's what I assumed. I, I was like, we got to let it play out. Let this man, you know, at least try, attempt to, to yeah, you started off bad. Let him attempt to try and finish the season strong or, or try to get in the playoffs. But he, he doesn't even have a full roster, so you're going to just fire him when he's not even at full strength with his team.